welcome back. Spring is definitely in the air across the Twin Tiers today and Grace Sharp took this picture earlier this afternoon in Corning and you can see the flowers coming up out of the ground three inches high already and these look like uh, daffodils and uh, boy before you know it these flowers will be blooming so a nice uh, sight to see for sure as temperatures continue to warm up although we're going to start to cool things down at least briefly here for a couple of days. It's that time of year again where you're going to have to give and take with the temperatures. Uh, we had a cold day yesterday, mild today, and it looks like we're going to fall into a colder pattern here for the midweek period before things start to warm up late week once again. And some rain showers in the forecast overnight tonight. Not expecting a whole lot, a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rainfall. And with all the recent snow melt and the ice is beginning to shift on area streams and rivers and there is an ice jam threat. Nothing imminent right now and no flash flood watches or flood watches have been issued by the National Weather Service, but something to keep in mind. There was some ice jams reported down towards the Scranton area along the Susquehanna River near Tunkhannock with some of the ice uh, jamming up along one of the river bends there and that's resulting in minor flooding. But again, nothing localized just yet and colder temperatures expected for the midweek period. 56 in Bath, 55 in Watkins Glen and 53 in Tawanda. So a very comfortable evening across the Twin Tiers. A warm front across western New York, western Pennsylvania will come through the area late overnight tonight with some showers. Cold front will follow tomorrow morning with rain changing over to a mixture of rain and snow showers as we go through the day tomorrow, but not expecting any accumulating snows as temperatures for much of the daylight hours will be above freezing. 57 in Elmira, 52 in Bradford, so definitely mild conditions out there, and we're expecting it to stay that way through the overnight period. Just upper 30s for lows, so calling for rain showers and then temperatures in the low 40s starting to drop off tomorrow afternoon, and that's when we may begin to see just a few wet snowflakes mixing in with some of the lingering rain showers out there. Our future track, 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Light rain showers likely, and that'll be with us for the morning commute. And again, as the colder temperatures start to filter in during the afternoon, we may start to see a few wet flakes mixing in here and there. Temperatures tomorrow night heading down into the 20s. And then uh, for Wednesday, cold push of air for sure, with some spots not getting above the freezing mark for high temperatures. And there will be some flurries in the air here and there mixed with some limited sunshine as well. Our five degree guarantee for today, we forecast a high temperature of 54, our uh, actual high, our current temperature of 57. Here's what we can expect for the rest of tonight. Uh, everyone staying above the freezing mark with the uh, upper 30s and even some lower 40s out there. And then tomorrow we get an early high temperature of 42. That's our five degree guarantee. First warning seven day forecast for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. 42 with temperatures dropping cooler Wednesday and Thursday. Spring officially begins Friday. Some mixed rain and snow showers, but by then we're back into the 40s for highs. I guess it's fitting that the first day of spring there's a little rain in the forecast. That's right, and some may linger in the first part of the weekend, but uh, no major storms. All right, Joe, thank okay. you very much.